Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a products I regret buying slash disappointing products sort of video. Now these videos are kind of controversial, be controversial because makeup is so like just based on opinions, but these are my favorite videos to watch on YouTube just because I love like seeing girls that agree or guys that agree with the things I like or that hate things that I absolutely are like holy grail products and I think they can be quite helpful to where like if I was thinking about buying something and I see a bunch of people say that they don't like it, then it saves me some money. So that's what I'm going to do for you guys. So I have quite a few products, so let's just get right into it. First thing is this Bare Minerals Primer. This is the oil control one. This little guy was five dollars, five dollars, it was twenty-five dollars and I just didn't like it. It didn't do anything. It like feels like nothing. Like it feels like water and it's supposed to be oil control literally didn't notice anything it didn't help the wear of my makeup it didn't help my makeup go on long or like stay on longer I just didn't like it I didn't think it did anything so bare minerals primer eh. um, I've heard the neutralizing one is really good Shan XO like swears by that one so maybe try that one if you're gonna try one if you need neutralizing but I hated this one the next are a couple of NYX products. Now you guys know I love NYX, but I mean, there's good and bad with every brand. This is the NYX uh, Liquid Crystal Liner, and I love, I love this stuff, but it burned my eyes so bad. I was filming a tutorial with this, and I like used it, and I had to like shut off my camera because my eyes started water watering, and I just put it on the lid of my eye. I didn't even put it like on, like near my waterline. I just like kind of tapped it on the center of my lid and it burned my eyes so bad and I just noticed that it says it says not intended to be used around the eye area it's a liner um you want me to use this on my cheeks I don't get it so this was a no-go for me and the next little Nick product was the NYX incredible waterproof concealer I was trying to find a concealer more for like spot treatments and like I like this stuff it's really high coverage but it's really really thick and it doesn't like and it doesn't like blend well so it just kind of looks chunky on your face I've tried putting it on before foundation and after foundation and no matter no matter how I try to put it on it just ends up just caking on to like an acne spot or whatever it is and kind of enhances it more rather than making it disappear so uh, if you need a good NYX concealer go for the HD concealer this stuff is like my holy grail but this one not so much next let's see this stuff the Maybelline instant age rewind rewind dark circle concealer I have a love hate with this because the product in here is awesome like it really covers super super well but the packaging is awful I hate this stupid little sponge you can't really get anything out and like for me like this little spot right here like this it hurts and like I have to like tap on it a lot to try to get product out and then if you have any open acne sores you put that on there to try to cover it up then that bacteria is just sitting in that sponge waiting to be spread around your entire face so this eh, and plus the lightest color is fair and like it it fits my skin perfectly but it doesn't highlight at all I can't really use it for under eyes because it just kind of I don't know it just doesn't brighten at all which I'm willing to look past if there was different packaging but I hate the packaging so much that I'm like why why Maybelline why all right next is let's see this duo eyelash adhesive this stuff is like so many girls favorite eyelash glue I use this for a while but it started irritating my eyes so so bad like I kept putting on my lashes and my eyes would water and get super red and I don't have sensitive eyes and I thought it was just maybe my eyes not being used to wearing false lashes because I don't wear them that much but as soon as I tried a different eyelash glue I was like oh lashes aren't absolutely terrible to wear it's just the glue so this stuff I would maybe stay away from if you use it and it's fine then yeah it's great glue but just be careful Let's move on to some face. This is the NYX HE Studio Grinding Blush. I posted about this on my Instagram when I bought it and I was really excited to use it. It's supposed to be kind of like the Smashbox dupe, but I just don't like it. It's a pretty color, but there's not too much shimmer and like, so you grind it and then the like stuff comes out. But it's also too small of a pot to like get a blush brush in and when you do, 
it just kind of distributes on the brush weird. You can't really like swirl it around. It just gets on like one area of the brush and then it's just hard to blend out on your face. I just wasn't that big of a fan of it. And this stuff was $15. Like $15 for a NYX blush. And so that's why I tried it. It's because I was, I was like, it's new, it might be good, but honestly, I don't like it that much at all. Next is another face product. This is the Physicians Formula uh, Multicolored Custom Bronzer. This is a bronzer that came in like one for brunettes and one for blondes. And I just thought it was really kind of kitschy and cute, and I've never tried a Physicians Formula bronzer, and they all look so pretty. Like, you walk past the Physicians Formula bronzers, and you're just like, <gasps> they're so pretty. But these guys are kind of spendy. They're like at least, at least $10 upwards to like $16, and this has no color to it. Like, it just, it's just like, it's shimmery, but like, that's, let's see, let me see if I can get this off. I just put some right there, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's just like right there. It adds like a tiny, tiny gold glow, but that is it. So, I mean, I still use this if I just want kind of all over subtle shimmer, but it's really, really subtle. Like, not, not $11 subtle, you know? And then this stuff is the Smooth Operator um, Micro Amazonian Clay Pressed Finishing Powder. This is like a tal talky type powder, but it doesn't have talc because Tarte uses really good products. But this is just a finishing powder. You can see I did use this all. This is good, but I just know that NYX, the NYX Mineral Set It and Don't Fret It and Translucent, that stuff is a 1000% dupe for this. This is $35, the NYX stuff is I think 10 or 12 and so I just, I got this as a gift, so I mean I can't really complain, and I did like it a lot, but just for those of you out there that are willing to try it, try the NYX stuff first, if that, if you hate that stuff, go ahead and splurge on this because it is good, but you guys see what I'm saying, there's just a good dupe for it, and so I'm like, why would I spend $35 more dollars to get this, when I could get this for like less than half of the price? You know what I mean. <laughs> okay, so this stuff, the LA Girl Pro Conceal, this is all over Instagram. It's all over the beauty world. I love the formula, but I picked up the lightest shade and it's almost too dark for me. And that makes me really, really sad. And it's also very, very, like, salmon undertoned. Like, it is, it's just kind of a weird color. I don't, I don't know. I like the formula. It definitely is good. But I just wish the color selection was better. So that's all I'm going to say about that. Ellie Girl, if you're watching, come out with lighter shades, please. Okay, guys. This is probably my least favorite item in my makeup collection ever. This is the Makeup Forever Professional Lip Rouge Artist Intense in number 50 black lipstick. I just bought this because this was literally the only black lipstick that Sephora had. It was $20, and it is the worst lipstick that I've ever tried Ever. Like, it sucks. The color pigmentation is good. I will say that. Like, it is a black, but like, not really. I don't know. It's just really shiny. It slides everywhere. It feathers so bad. I've never had a lipstick feather until I tried a $20 Make It Forever lipstick, which doesn't make any sense. And it's also, like, it's just like kind of brown and purple. It's not really like a deep, intense black, which my ColourPop um, lippy stick in Bull Chic is a true intense black. This stuff sucks. And like, the feathering bugged me so much because it's like, it's black lipstick. You do not want that stuff to feather. And, ugh. Mm. Hate it. Hate it, hate it, hate it. Hate it, hate it. Hate it. This is stuff is the It Cosmetics Tight Line Full Lash Length Primer with Peptide Enhancing Serum. This stuff is okay. I use it for my lower lash line now because the brush is like, non-existent. It says it's a primer, but honestly, it like when I put this on as a primer, it dries and any mascara that I try to put over it, have you ever tried to put mascara on top of dry mascara? It doesn't work. It just like flakes and gets like clumpy and I figured like for a primer, like a mascara primer to do that, I just didn't think that made sense and it wasn't good enough to just use on its own. So I just don't understand. And this stuff was supposed to be like tight line. So like you're supposed to be able to like really push this up into your tight line and line your tight line with it. Like just kind of press it and get that black pigment up into your tight line. I did that once 
but the stuff that I put in my tight line from this kept falling into my eyes throughout the day and just like irritated my eyes so bad and I kept having to like dab it out and my makeup was just ruined by the end of the day so wasn't too impressed by this I love it cosmetics I love it cosmetics so much but this stuff not my fave okay I just need to talk about NARS for a second I'm I might get shot in the face for, <laughs> for saying these things but I wanted to kind of splurge and I had a 5 or a 15 off a $50 coupon so I decided to get a NARS blush in the creamy radiant concealer and here's what I'm gonna say these things are good products these aren't disappointing products these are products I regret buying one okay the blush is great I don't regret this one as much it's really really pretty but I just regret spending that much money on it because I feel like you can get just as pretty blush not for $35. Now, if I were rich, if I was like Shan XO or Jaclyn Hill where I got paid to spend money on makeup, I would buy all of these babies because they are great. But for those of you that are like me, live on their own, like students, you know, like I just think you can buy just as good blushes for cheaper because like once I put this on my cheeks, I'm kind of like my Milani blush looks just as pretty or you know like some of my NYX blushes look like that so that's what I'm gonna say about that it is good but just like I would splurge on other things I would splurge on eyeshadow palettes or foundation if your skin is sensitive or lipsticks not blush that's just my opinion and then the NARS creamy radiant concealer this stuff is like holy grail for so many people and I was just kind of like eh like I was not very impressed by it for 30 freaking dollars I seriously think my NYX HD concealer is just as good if not I prefer it a little bit better because this stuff dries quicker and it's not like dry like it's drying but it just sets quicker and so I don't have to deal with that like tacky feeling on my under eye so that's what I'm gonna say about that not necessarily like disappointing products but I just wish I wouldn't have spent so much money on them because I feel like I could have used my money better now these are the NYX uh, macaroon lippies that they came out and I was really really excited about them they had just a ton of really really fun and creative colors but like I just didn't like the formula of them they I just felt like they were gonna slip and slide all over my lips the color pigmentation is good and like they don't smell weird or anything like that but this color makes teeth look so yellow like my teeth aren't the whitest but they aren't like yellow and they I was just so self-conscious whenever I wore this color because it seriously makes your teeth look so yellow and that's not Nyx's fault that a color does that but I just honestly didn't like the formula too much I just felt like they were gonna just slide everywhere maybe if I tried like a really sticky lip liner underneath and just kinda patted them on but I don't know what did you guys think of these because a lot of people like them but like if I'm being real like the formula kinda bugged me so am I alone in that? I don't know Okay, and then another NYX. These are just the NYX round round lipsticks. I really think that's what they're called. Is just like the NYX round lipsticks. I hate these this formula. I think the NYX like matte lipsticks or the ones in like the new packaging or the butter glosses or they have like the intense butter glosses or they have these brand stinking new high voltage li lipsticks. Buy those. Don't buy these. These ones kind of feel like the macaroon lippies but worse like they just ah, they just like I said color pigmentation is pretty good there's that like pink right there but I just hated the formula they just slid everywhere like I like my lipstick like thick and creamy and I like it to feel like it is not moving and this stuff felt like a gloss almost where like I would mush my lips together and it was just like bleh. like <laughs> I don't know Hopefully you guys, like, know what I mean. Like, when you get that lipstick that just, like, slides and you're just like, is it good? Am I looking weird? Like, I don't know. I don't know. Didn't like it. And then, finally, this one was, like, really disappointing. These are the, um, LA Girl Glazed Lip Paints. These are, like, really cool products. Like, they're kind of like the Too Faced Melted. They're so pigmented. Like, look at that that is bananas we sold these at Hot Topic and for a while I didn't buy them because I was just kinda like I don't like really really glossy 
lips like holy crap look at that but anyways I just didn't really like really glossy lips so I wasn't really about them but then they went on clearance and I was like I'm gonna try them they're fun they smell so bad like we've had these we had had these in our store for a really long time I don't know if mine like went bad or something but these smell so bad so bad oh they smell like nail polish remover do any of your guys' smell like that because I was watching a review from like a really really well-known beauty blogger Tati go subscribe to her she does a ton of drugstore reviews and they're amazing anyways but like she said they smelled fine so did mine just go bad or something because they seriously like I could not keep these on my lips I just swatched them and I took them right off and like went and scrubbed my lips because they smell so bad they just smell like alcohol and and cheap lipstick like it smells seriously like alcohol I don't know I don't know what's going on with these so let me know in the comments below have you guys dealt with this should I just go try to find new ones and toss these let me know okay guys that is all I have for you today I'm sorry if I bashed on one of your favorite products but if I did let me know what you like about that product or if I totally said something that you guys totally agree with let me know about that too are there like other things I should try I don't know let me know your guys' thoughts on this video would you guys like to see more like maybe farther down the road when I've tried more makeup I think these are super helpful and really fun to watch honestly so I hope you guys do too I hope there are no hard feelings like I said makeup is all about personal opinion but I just thought I'd put my opinion out there so thanks for watching guys give this video a thumbs up if you thought it was helpful and I'll see you later Bye.